Hey, this is Brent from Gray House Studio. Today I'm going to show you how we finished the wood on the wall in our reading nook. Even though this started as a pallet project, we quickly realized that the type of wood we were getting from the pallets was really inconsistent and also kind of disgusting. There were bugs and the wood would splinter and break to parts that we couldn't use anymore. So we decided to go with this wood that really is the same kind of wood the pallets are made of, but we can buy it by the foot new and then condition it to look like we want and be more usable. All right, so the first thing you need to do to make sure that your boards look like they came straight off the pallet is hammer a few nails through the end and then pull them back out so that it looks like these boards were actually used for something. So make sure you clamp the board down because if you don't, it's really hard to hold the board, hold the nail, and hold the hammer on the same time. So if this was a light board, this would be as far as I go, but I want this board to be darker, so there's two more things I need to do. The first would be take a metal brush like this, attach it to a drill or an angle grinder. I prefer a drill with a cord for this one so that the battery doesn't die halfway through the third board. And basically all you have to do is rough up the surface, and what that's going to do is actually pull the lighter wood out from in between the darker grain. And it really gives a surface that weathered look like you would see in a palette where the dark grain or the harder wood is raised and the lighter, softer grain is lowered. So put on some safety glasses and that's what this looks like right here. So the last thing we did to distress the board was run it through the table saw. And what that does is really just give it that straight from the sawmill kind of look where you can see the circular pattern of the blade as it's ripped through to cut the, these cheap boards down the sides. So by raising the saw blade up to about the thickness of the board and adjusting the guard to guide the board through close to the blade, I can run it through and give that kind of pattern to the edge of the Now that the wood is distressed, I have two examples here, the one that we've been working on and one that hasn't been touched, and I'll apply this Rust-Oleum Kona wood stain to it. First, just with the rag, let it soak in both of them, and then I'll wipe it off with a clean rag. Wood that you have distressed, you'll have to work it to get it in all the grooves. And the uh, other piece doesn't take nearly as much work to clean it off. And now you can see that where the wood has been pulled out with the metal brush and where the table saw cut into the surface of the wood, it's darker and the rest of it's lighter like the other board. So once the boards have dried for an hour or two, they'll be ready to go up on the wall. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in our comment section.